What's going on guys? Welcome to this video. In this case, here we have an Impala 2004 LS, turn the key, get nothing. So you're probably thinking, okay, my starter is bad, my battery is low. Battery is good, guys. I already check it with the meter, it's all good. The starter is great. Cause I'm gonna teach you guys right now how to jump your starter, how to figure it out if that wiring from the crank relay so your starter is good that way you can check your starter and make sure your starter is good but this i'm not lying to you guys put a key in on and off okay nothing if you do have a security light right here blinking you want to go ahead and reset that i'm gonna put in the description how to reset that you want to get that out of the way guys i tried jumping the security and everything it did not work so you want to go ahead to your fuse box under the hood it's on the passenger side. You want to see this. You want to find your crank relay. Okay. There you go. If you want to see if your starter is good. And all the wires to your starter is good. You're going to jump. Okay. Relay goes like this. You want to go ahead and jump 98 and 85. So you go... You go right here. It's hard to do in one hand. Boom. That's 98. Now we want 85. Jump it. Okay, you heard that? Car did not start, but you're getting your starter is good right there. All the wires from this relay to your starter are good. So you get that out of the way automatically. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is uh, test like a check that you're getting positive from the computer, another positive that's coming from my battery, a negative that's ground. When I put the key on start position, I get another negative, which is my signal. Got it on my negative. Boom. Let's see. Okay, there's one positive. Boom. This one. That's not. There's no power there. These two are going to be grounds. How do I know it's ground? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place my, this side of the meter on my positive. Okay, there you go. Boom. You see? Now I have power. This one right here. This one right there. This is going to be my signal wire for my switch. And it throws a positive, okay? But we and you see this one right here this one right now it's a ground but you're supposed to have two positives and two negative okay so after I figured that out I jumped this one right here with a 5 amp fuse because right now it's ground but I jump it with positive with a 5 amp as you can see right now after all that work, after I jump it with a 5 amp, I figured that out. So I just got power from this 15 amp fuse right here. Fifteen amp fuse right there. And I'm gonna show you guys how it works. That's pin 98. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that positive lead on 98 boom put it in there you heard it let's see okay so I'm gonna check again I'm gonna show you guys I'm putting positive see that oh okay hopefully you guys saw that it's a positive I'm throwing in there to bring a positive and a positive back to the computer to recognize that system starting or not it just cuts power so let's go to the key switch right now and let's see boom off on crank right up guys there you go there you go D 
everything works. Code AC. There you go. Something's going on with the security in this car. I'm not getting a light. I'm not getting a light right here, right? But something's still going on with the security. How do I know that? Because when I go on my on my scanner and I go life data, this is lockout timer. So okay, as you guys can see, the car is on off. I'm the key in on. Boom. Okay guys, so and I had to go find another fuse that when the switch was in on position, there's positive. When the switch was off, the car was off, there's nothing. And so I checked under the hood and there was nothing. So I had to go to the driver's side fuse panel and find one. I found the PCM and BCM power control module and body control module fuse. That's what powers them up. And when my switch is on, there's power. When it was off, there was no power. And this is just a 10 amp fuse, and it was working great. The wire doesn't heat up or anything like that. You don't need to use a big wire. I ran that to pin 98 from that panel all the way over there to pin 98. And it's working great, guys. Hopefully, this works out for you guys. Let me know down in the comments. This video is mostly for the people that have checked their security systems they have checked all the fuses and they have done and checked all the powers at the crank relay just like I have all my fuses were good security I didn't find anything wrong with this set when I got in it with my thank pad but all the fuses were good and it didn't make no sense I didn't have any codes and the car wasn't starting so this is for them people this is not for people guys. who haven't checked their fuels yet. That will save you time, money, and headaches. Hopefully that works out for you guys. Let me know in the comments.